everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and supporters. And last couple days, I put out two videos, one on the new Chevy Bolt EUV, electric utility vehicle. Yeah, right. And the Chevy Bolt EV, well, the Chevy Bolt EV been out for a few years, but there's a refresh. So I made two videos, basically, you know, just a, a overview, main features and all that. I'm gonna put the two links above and at the end, if you'd like to watch them. Very informative, simple, to the point. Now, <laughs> I'm trying to be polite. You all know me, those who been following my channel, I have, my motto is change the world one electric car at a time. I own two Teslas, I own a Chevy Volt, I used to own a Nissan Leaf. You buy an electric car, you make me happy. However, not everybody is like me or people like me, like diehards who really want to do something good and, and all that. So there are people who, you know, you know, electric cars, I'm interested. So they see something like the Bolt uh, EUV and the Bolt TV and they're like, are you trying to be ugly? I mean, got so many comments on the Chevy Volt uh, Facebook group for one of my videos. It's like total and absolute disappointment. Now, are the Chevy Bolt and the Chevy uh, Bolt EUV bad cars? No, they have 250 and 259 miles respectfully. They have, uh, you know, all the features you want from an electric car. How do they look? I'll give you one word, lame. Lame, that's, that's what it is, lame. They look lame and, and not only that, um, if I may, at this point, the technology is so advanced. So for example, what does a electric car owner or future owner are looking for? Range and charging speed. That's what you want. My Kakamemi Chevy Volt 2016 has a 3.3 onboard uh, uh, charger. It takes me four and a half hours to charge that 17 kilowatt hour battery, okay? Pack lunch and dinner. Thank God it's a plug-in hybrid, so I charge it overnight. So my kid, my kids use it and, and all that. But you have, for example, the Chevy Bolt or the Chevy Bolt EUV. Top speed of fast charging is, I think, 55 kilowatt hour, 100 miles in a half hour. My Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, when I go to charge them at the supercharger on the V3, or even in the V2, I get. 100 miles in like five minutes a, 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 a driver somebody who's going to switch from a, a gasoline car to an electric car you better make a case why am i doing this now I, got, I gotta give them the prices are very very attractive you know and if this is a car that you're just going to drive around town and you have a gasoline car to go to go to uh, a long a long trip and that's what you're going to do then it's fine but you really want to adapt electric cars to be your everything my model 3 and my model y i do everything with them i go on to 3000 miles road trips with them Okay, I took this car to Florida twice, to Canada, everywhere. Meaning, I don't need to have a backup car for this car. This is my only car. Now, not only they are amazing, they look great. Top of the line technology, the latest, autopilot, all these things that is available. You know, it's out there. So again, I have to say the Bolt and the Bolt EUV, you know, <coughs> very good, very good attractive price. But if somebody is going to shell thirty to forty-five thousand dollars, depending on the trim you take, you better make a case. You better have battery technology and charging and charging technology and charging infrastructure that is going to convince somebody who drives a gasoline car, this Nissan Rogue, who is right in front of me right now. I'm going to pass pass him. This CUV right next to me. I don't know if you can see him. Yes, you kind of could. Okay, if this guy who's driving a small SUV uh, crossover is going to change to that, who looks like a Chevy Equinox, you better make a case. Why would I do that? Why would I pay more? So again, having driven more, close to 200,000 miles of electric cars in, my, in the last five years, 
I am telling you, it's range, charging speed number one and number two, whichever one you want. And of course, style, beauty, and all those things that say, oh, I'm going to move on from Windows 95 to a brand new uh, Apple computer, iOS, whatever the version that is. You know what I mean? I'm going to trade my Nokia phone to the latest smartphone. It has to make an absolute compelling case. And when I see these two cars, I was like, this is it? Now again, I support electric cars, and I think, and I think if you buy it, you're gonna like it, and 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 it's going to serve you. But is it your only car? Unfortunately, I don't think so. Unfortunately, I don't think so. I mean, 300 plus miles, fast charging, like I'm talking about 150 kilowatt at least, and up, capable of receiving, so you can charge and go you can drive three hours or so 200 250 miles stop for 15 20 minutes and move on you dig what i say guys or am i just talking to myself renting let me know in the comments below what you think about everything i just said thank you guys for watching see you all tomorrow